we're recording on Zoom. Okay. So now we need to pretend here for a second. <laughs> the pretend, I love the pretend part. Okay. <laughs> we don't even know if we're on. We think we're on. We don't know. Okay, you are ready? Ready. On hey. your mark, get set, and we are live. Hey, welcome everybody to BricsCAD Unplugged, Season 2, Episode 4. Yes. I'm Don Strimbu, and with me are... Heidi Hewitt. I'm coming to you from uh, Argentina today. Argentina. Argentina. Wow, Heidi is in Latin. Is in America. And <laughs> I'm Matt. I'm in southern Utah and uh, everything. How's the snow? Any snow? Yes. Uh, we Believe me, uh, there's like an inch on the ground right now. It's slowly melting away. We had a little storm on Sunday. Very cool. Very cool. Raining here in northern California, which is always a good thing. Anybody who lives here complains about rain, they're an idiot. <laughs> it's beautiful, but we love it when it rains. And I, it's summertime in Argentina, Heidi. So it is. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Don, what's today the show about today? Today's topic, topic Matt, as always, is BricsCAD. But it's about BricsCAD V19. Okay. So we I mean, we had a wonderful launch of BricsCAD V19 at our London event back in October. We've made great traction with the product so far. People are loving it. We're having a great time with it. Ralph Grabowski just came out with the BricsCAD V19 for AutoCAD users book. It's over 400 pages. It's free. Download it now. Help.brixis.com. Just scroll down to documentation and download it. You're going to love it. It's amazing. Yep. So what do you want to do next? Well, let's talk about the products. Let's talk about the v products. Let's get into them. And I know you have a PowerPoint. I do have a PowerPoint. You let's know I have a PowerPoint. Let's show it off. PowerPoint. Let's show it off. Let me switch to this guy. I do not have a PowerPoint. Heidi yeah. doesn't have a PowerPoint, but Heidi's got a live product, man. Yes. yes. Ready to roll. Okay, BricsCAD. What is BricsCAD? If you don't know by now, it is the all-in-one drawing-based CAD solution. That sounds pretty impressive, doesn't it? I made that one up myself. Now, <laughs> here's the other important thing. The native file format of BricsCAD is 2018 DWG. BricsCAD runs on the Open Design Alliance ODA libraries. They are the second source for DWG compatibility. We're a founding member of that Open Design Alliance, Brixis is. And it's important to know that if you open your drawings in BricsCAD, they look exactly the same in AutoCAD and vice versa. What more can you ask for? Data integrity is very important. Super important. Super important. What if things change and move? They don't. Drawing 2018 is drawing 2018. You can call it true drawing, you can call it new drawing, you can call it old drawing, but in reality, it's 2018 DWG, and that is the core of BricsCAD. Now, we've done some other really cool things to make it easier for you to own BricsCAD. And to do that, it's available in three editions. The first edition is BricsCAD Classic. And I just say, think of it as BricsCAD LT. But here's the beautiful part. It's on steroids. It has Lisp. When's the last time an LT-based product had Lisp? Probably never. <laughs> this one does. So you can do all the 2D detailing you need to do with full 2018 drawing compatibility, and you have the power of Lisp for both macro, macros and programs. So you can do a lot of things in BricsCAD Classic that you can't do in other 2D drafting programs. And that's why we think BricsCAD Classic is superior. Now, the most popular edition of BricsCAD is BricsCAD Pro. It's 2D and 3D. And it runs hundreds of third-party applications. If you run third-party applications on another CAD platform that are programmed in ARX, you'll be interested to know that BricsCAD has BRX, the BricsCAD Runtime Extension. 
1,500 third-party applications run today on BricsCAD. And they do everything from ship design to civil engineering to piping and MEP and HVAC and all of the vertical components that go into a design workflow. All in drawing, can't beat that. Now, the biggest addition, the best edition, the Turbo S edition of BricsCAD is BricsCAD Platinum. And it is, has all the features in Pro, and also includes assembly modeling and a 3D constraint engine. It's the foundation for our building information modeling and our mechanical design products also. So very powerful tools, buy what you need. That's the most important part, buy what you need. And remember, BricsCAD is available as a perpetual or permanent license. Buy it once, use it as long as your hardware and software operating system support it. No subscription, unless of course you want to. We do offer lease and rental programs, and we offer our all-in maintenance program too to make it easy to stage your upgrades to BricsCAD. But the most important thing, remember, if you stop paying for BricsCAD, it keeps running. See what the other guys tell you about that. So, what's fun about BricsCAD V19? First, a familiar 2D and 3D interface. This is BricsCAD BIM. You can see this interface. It's so simple. It's designed only to present the things that you need at any given point in the workflow. You know, CAD interfaces have looked the same for years. We're actually moving to new UI paradigms. And by the way, you can customize the user interface of BricsCAD just as you do in the other CAD products. In fact, the SUI file, the CUI file that you may have in that other CAD program comes right over into BricsCAD and just simply presents it, simply load it and off you go. So you don't have to throw away your customizations. You don't have to change your file format. You still have a perpetual license with BricsCAD. And by the way, all your customizations work perfectly. And if you know how to use that other CAD product, you already know how to use BricsCAD because the command set is almost 100% compatible. That's super powerful stuff. Migration is easy. Robert Green will tell you how easy it is. And by the way, if you go to the BricsCAD blog, blogs.brixis.com, you'll see a series of new posts from Robert Green for CAD managers, which is really, really important stuff to help you understand the migration process from other CAD to BricsCAD. It's two parts. Yeah. Two parts. And there's, yeah. there's plenty more, too. Robert's working Correct. on part three right now. Uh, Rose will probably put that live this week. Uh, the fastest path to 2D, of course, familiar tools, tools that you know and love. And pretty incredible functionality in terms of 3D modeling. The direct modeling engine in BricsCAD allows you to manipulate models directly. It does not differentiate between native geometry and imported geometry. So you can use Communicator for BricsCAD, bring in solid models from other industry standard CAD modelers, and you can manipulate them just like they were created in BricsCAD. None of this history-based stuff to contend with. It's a really smart way to get your 3D models built. Over 30,000 parametric features in BricsCAD Platinum. And by the way, since they're parametric, you can drive an infinite number of combinations from those parametric entities we put in our catalog and 3D modeling. BricsCAD Mechanical takes it even a step further than Platinum and adds full bill of materials capability, automatic exploded assembly views, super powerful stuff you were told you just couldn't do it in DWG. Well, guess what? You got told a story. You got sold a bill of goods. You can do it in DWG. And we do with the number one all-in-one CAD product out there today. It's called what? BricsCAD. <laughs> hey, that's the end of my Woo! show, guys. How long did I go? Oh, how long did I? I, I talked way too long. I'm sorry. Oh, that was perfect, Don. That was perfect. Right. Am I unsharing? Did I share? Am I, am I aware? Yeah, you yeah, you unshared. Yep. I'm unshared. Okay, great. Who's All next? Right. Right. Heidi. I'm up next. All right, let me. <laughs> yes. she, didn't know. she didn't know she was next. We were just like flipping a coin back here. Is it Heidi's turn? Yeah. 
I don't think it's mine. I think I'm done. Yeah. Um, all right. Hopefully you can see that and the things mm. are coming out of the way. Yes, we can. Okay. So here's my um, UI, and you did mention, Don, earlier you were talking about the uh, modern user interface for BIM products. I want to just pull that up real quickly here um, before I show what else I want to show. Um, so this is what you were talking about, just a very simplified UA, all the pow or UI, all the power, all the tools available, but in a very simplified UI. But you also mentioned familiar. So I'm going to go back to the uh, default drafting uh, workspace, and this is where the familiar comes in. Here you can see that if you're coming from that other CAD pr um, program, that you, this should look pretty familiar to you, easy to come in here, use the tools that you're familiar with. Heidi, I, I, I love the using toolbars. How do I see them? Oh, well, there's another UI. Let's go ahead and, uh, and of course, it's all customizable, as Don mentioned, but if I go here to the um, drafting toolbar <coughs> workspace, then you see you've got a lot of toolbars. You can, of course, turn on many, many more of those. If we go in here, I've got all kinds of toolbars and, and palettes I can turn on. Um, but I am coming from that other CAD application, and I want to go back to my familiar, comfortable um, workspace. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back on. It doesn't really matter for what I'm going to show you today. We've got some other sessions where we covered some of this. Um, but I guess I should, should emphasize that with V19, this workspace is new. So we just kind of took tools, put them in different places, and um, now you've got that, that familiar user interface. What I want to talk about relating back to what um, Don was, was talking about as far as the additions, is if you install the trial, and we encourage you to go out there, download the, in, the, download the trial for BricsCAD, and you will have access to all the additions that Don talked about, as well as the BIM and the manufacturing uh, applications, the man mechanical uh, tools. So um, I wanna let you know, though, as you're going up and you download the trial, you install it, if you wanna try different uh, tools, you can actually use this very cool command, run as level. And if you type that in a command line, you'll see that you have different options there. You can use the BricsCAD option and choose either Plastic Pro or Platinum. So depending on which one you choose, you will actually have uh, the, the capabilities for that particular one. Maybe you're a CAD manager and you wanna see, well, is Classic, is classic enough for some of my users or Pro? You can change it to that license level during your trial period and test it out. Now, after you've bought your license, if you've purchased a license and your trial has run out, then you can always go down if you want to test a, a license level that's down. You can always do that. You can't go up because you haven't paid for it. Oh, um, but you, I know, I know. Pretty. I like the way we did that. <laughs> <laughs> but you can always do that during your trial period. You can go up and down and test it out. Um, so you might want to try platinum and um, make sure if you want to use BIM product, you want to make sure that if you go into that, that you've got a license enabled there. I'm currently using the trial. I didn't realize that. I hope that doesn't expire right away. Don't um, worry, I can uh, make you a new license. Huh? Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> this, this I have the power. <laughs> Ooh, good thing. So something good to be aware of. Run as level lets you test out BricsCAD during your trial period at those different edition levels. Yes. All and right. I mean, that's amazing because like Heidi said, you know, what if you want to determine, hey, I've, this is my workflow and I want to support that. Can I, can I get by with Pro or do I need Platinum? Or will Classic actually work for me, right? What You only have to install one program. And during that 30-day trial, if you want to try BricsCAD BIM or BricsCAD Mechanical, you can. I mean, we give you access to the software for 30 days for free. No credit card required. We're not going to bug you. It's actually kind of amazing. I yes. think we should bug people more and say, buy buy, 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 buy Platinum today. So Heidi, Don, it's just one download, basically. I just go up and download the trial, and I get it all. I just 349 megabytes, the entire installer for all the products. Everything is in there, man. It's amazing. It downloads in about a minute, and it installs in about another minute. Super yeah. fast. Maybe Super two. Nice. Depends on your machine. Yeah. But yeah, your yeah. connection. Yeah. Pretty, pretty amazing stuff. And, and you know, every time we release a new version of BricsCAD, the product gets better. I mean, there are over 50 pages of new features in BricsCAD V19. When's the last time your other CAD vendor delivered <laughs> like that? It's actually pretty cool. And we're constantly improving the product based on your input as our users. That's what we do. That's what we're here for. 
And now that we're part of Hexagon, the sky's the limit, guys. We have amazing, I mean, we just, Heidi and I just got off a call today. Customers are really excited to hear more about the Bricks CAD story. And we're really happy to be a part of this larger family because it gives us great resources so we can really get better products out to you faster. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And then, Don, next week, I think we're hosting some of the uh, people from Hexagon. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Alex and, and uh, Chad and Ryan, maybe, I think those guys are going to be on. They're going to show us a little bit of CadWorks 2019, right? Yep. Yep. You Very got it. Very yeah. cool. I mean, you want to talk about something crazy? Imagine an application program that is like three and a half times bigger than the foundation it runs on. Nine million lines of code in CadWorks, okay? And it runs beautifully on BricsCAD, really amazing. So we're excited to see that functionality come to the BricsCAD platform and customers are excited because it gives them real choice for change. Okay, well, hey, we're running out of time again, yeah. but, uh, once again, Heidi, what, what do you want people to do? Download, download BricsCAD trial and install it and use it. Don't just download, don't just install it, actually use it because I know you'll be very happy with it. Use your commands just like you're used to and other CAD applications, type them in, poke around the UI, set different workspaces, but give it a try. I know you'll love it. Yeah. And, and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all kinds of resources for you to get up to speed and learn, keep up on what's going on. Yep. And hey, don't forget a great resource, blog.brixis.com. Heidi's writing, Robert Green, me, Rose, Steve Johnson, other folks telling you all about the best all-in-one drawing-based CAD solution, BricsCAD, and why you should buy it today. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, with that, we got it. Coffee, guys. I think we're done. <laughs> Yeah, we're done. We're done. Well, hey, folks, we'll see you next week. And uh, thanks to my colleagues. Okay. Thank so, you, bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Have fun down there, Heidi. Oh, yeah. <laughs>